So do I. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Tony. Oh, hi, hi Cammie. Cammie. Hello. Where did you get the birdhouse? We made it. Oh. I glued the pieces together and Sarah painted it. It's really nice. Oh, thank you. The paint is still wet, so we're putting it out here for a while. When it's dry, Mr. Boyd can hang it up for the birds. I wonder if there are any birds in the park who need a new home. Well, Nick is looking for some right now. See? Oh, hi, Is Nick. Any birds yet, Nick? Not yet. Wow! These binoculars make Barney look really big. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. What are the binoculars for? Sarah and I made a birdhouse. And I'm looking for birds who can make it their home. Well, I'm sure there are lots of birds who'd like to live in a birdhouse. Very nice. And I think they'd like living in the park, too. After all, lots of animals have homes here. They do? Uh-huh. For animals, the great outdoors is a great place to live. Over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, lived an old mother frog and her little froggy one. Croak, said the mother. I croak, said the one. So, so they, they croaked, croaked and they croaked, croaked, croaked in the sand, in the sun. <laughs> Over in the meadow, in the stream so blue, lived an old mother fish and her little fishies too. Swim, said the mother. We swim, said so they swam and they swam in the stream so blue. Oh, my life is cheese. Over in the meadow on the branch of a tree lived an old mother bird and her little birdies three. Sing, said the mother. We sing, said the three. So they sang and they sang on the branch of the tree. Oh, tweet, tweet. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a bird. Oh, oh yeah, it does. Oh, I think we must be very close to someone's home. Yeah. You're right. Look. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a dove, and she's sitting in her nest. The nest is her home, and she built it herself out of twigs, grass, and pieces of string. Why does she want to live in a tree? Being way up high helps her feel safe. Look, over there, a rabbit. A rabbit? <laughs> a I don't see a rabbit. He was just there, but he hopped away. <laughs> Rabbits are very fast. Are. <laughs> Look, there he is. Oh. Now I see it. Me too. I like his cute ears and fluffy tail. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think he's seen us. Yeah, Let's see here. Uh... <laughs> Where did he go? I think he hurried home. I don't see any home. Yeah, sir, I don't oh, see one. But we will if we look very closely. Okay. Look, <laughs> it's a hole. Oh, right. A special kind of hole called a burrow. And when the rabbit wants to be warm and safe and dry, he can just hippity hop home. Can he hippity hop fast? <laughs> of course, lots of animals hop. It's a good way of getting from place to place. And it's a lot of fun. Oh, you're right, Cammy. It is a lot of fun. <laughs> Did you ever see a little bitty bunny run? The way he gets around is a lot of fun. He bends down low, then jumps up high. Now pretend that you're a bunny bouncing by. And hop, 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 hippity hop. It's so much fun, you just can't stop. Hop, hop, hippity hop. Everybody's happy when they hop. A fat green frog on a bright blue day doesn't need fancy toys to play. He bends down low, then jumps up high. Now pretend that you're a froggy bouncing by. And hop, 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 hippity hop. It's so much fun, you just can't stop. Hop, hop, hippity hop. Everybody's happy when you hop. Way down under lives the kangaroo. She takes much bigger hops than the others do. She bends down low, then jumps up high. Now pretend that you're a kangaroo bouncing by. And hop, 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 hippity hop. 
It's so much fun, you just can't stop. Hop, hop, hippity hop. Oh. Everybody's happy when they hop, hop, hop. Everybody's happy when they hop. Oh. Well, it looks like you're all having some happy hopping fun. Hello, Mr. Boy. Hi, Hi kid. <laughs> Hi, Barney. <laughs> We're hopping like some of the animals who live in the park. And speaking of animals that live in the park... <laughs> oh, Mr. Boyd, uh, I think your suitcase just quacked. <laughs> That's because it's not a suitcase. It's an animal carrier. Ooh. Wait till you see what's inside. Okay. <laughs> wow, look at that. Mr. Boyd brought us a new friend. Oh, boy. <laughs> I thought there was a duck in there. Her name is Sally, and I just picked her up from the animal doctor. She'd hurt her wing, but it's all better now, so we thought she might like to live here in the park. Oh, yeah. It'll be like having our own duck. Yes, yeah, sure will. <laughs> Sally likes it here. Well, she sure does. That's because a pond makes a perfect home for a duck. Ducks like to float on the water <laughs> and paddle with their feet. <laughs> and in a pond, ducks can find things they like to eat. I think Sally has everything she needs. Doesn't she need other ducks to play with? Yeah. Oh, well, I hadn't thought of that. Maybe some other ducks will come to visit. Oh, and until then, we can make Sally feel at home by pretending to be ducks. Oh, okay. Also, she'll feel like she has friends. <laughs> Who knows how to paddle all around the pond? How to waddle all around the lawn Quack, quack, quack The duckies do They quack when they talk They wiggle when they walk They quack when they're swimming too Quack, quack, quack Let's do what the duckies do Sally, I think you should say hello to all your nice new friends Who knows how to paddle all around the pond Quack, quack, quack The duckies do They quack when they talk, they wiggle when they walk, they quack when they're swimming too. Quack, 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 let's do what the duckies do. Whoa. Quack, 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 let's do what the duckies do. Quack, 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 Well, with nice new friends like you, I think Sally will feel right at home. Ooh. And when we're not around, the other animals in the park can keep her company. What other kinds of animals live here? Oh, there are quite a few, though uh, some of them are very hard to see. For instance, there's an owl that lives here, but he only comes out at night. I'd like to see an owl, but I can't stay out at night. Yeah, I can't either. I can't either. Oh, uh, Oh, I know a way we can see some owls in the daytime. Oh, yeah. oh and I can show you in the caboose. Okay. Well, that sounds like fun, but uh, I better put this away first, so okay. I'll uh, see you later. Okay, okay Mr. Boyd. See you. Oh, oh, come on, what? Oh, oh. Okay, we'll put this here and oh, get about that and oh, 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 there, all done. Oh, now, who, who, who wants to see an owl? Oh, I do. Can you please show us? Here it is. Oh, it's a paper bag puppet. Oh, right. And we've got everything here for you to make your own owl puppets. Let's do it. Okay. okay. Oh, they're really fun to make, too. First, we cut out two triangle shapes for the top of the head. Triangles have three sides. <laughs> right, Nick. Now we cut out a beak. I think it looks great. I'm cutting yellow circles for the eyes. And I'm using these cupcake liners for the eyes. <laughs> well, I think everyone's doing a great job. Thanks. Next, we glue everything onto the bag. Now you can color in the owl's eyes. Oh, and last, the wings. Okay. Great job. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> your owls look terrific. <laughs> and I know a game we can play with them. Oh, okay. Sure, it's 
<laughs> you look so tired. <laughs> anywhere. Some owls live in trees, and others make their homes in buildings, like barns. Hey, I just found another animal's home right here in the caboose. <laughs> oh, let's go see. I wonder what it is. So do I. <laughs> it's the aquarium. Oh. <laughs> That's a home for fish, right, Barney? Oh, right. The aquarium is full of water for these little fish to swim in. And bigger fish make their homes in ponds and lakes and even great big oceans. I think it looks like fun to live underwater. You can swim <laughs> everywhere you go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Well, we can't really live underwater. But with imagination, we can pretend to visit some fishy friends who do. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, Barney. <laughs> Under the sea, sea, sea. I think it would be neat as it could be, be, be. I could visit all the fish anytime I wish if I lived under the sea. I could ride on the tail of a great big whale. Wow, that would be great! I could count the legs on an octopus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I lived under the sea, sea, sea. I think it would be neat as it could be, be, be. I could visit all the fish anytime I wish if I lived under the sea. It would be so new to watch a tuna talking with an itty bitty snail. Or to see the pretty fin on the back of a fish who carries his very own sail. If I lived under the sea, 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 I think it would be neat as it could be. I wish if I lived under the sea. I could visit all the fish anytime I wish. If I lived under, if I lived under, if I lived under the sea. I can see why fish like living in the water. Oh, it is <laughs> Man, different animals need different kinds of homes. That's why the dog likes her nest. And the rabbit likes his burrow. And Sally the duck definitely likes the pond. Yeah. <laughs> Those are all good homes. And they're all right here in the park. But there are lots of other animal homes, too. I wish we could see them. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> we can. And it's as easy as turning on the computer. Nick, would you turn on the computer, please? Sure, Barney. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, foxes often make their homes in a cozy hole or a hollow log. <laughs> and it's called a den. <laughs> it's the itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> uh-huh. And her home is a beautiful web that she makes herself. Is that another spider? Oh, it's a hermit crab. He finds a shell that no one else is using and makes it his home. There he goes. Those are some busy bees. <laughs> Their home is called a hive, 
and bees often make their hive in a hollow tree. That's a baby kangaroo. Oh, right. He's called a joey. And while he's little, his home is his mother's soft, warm pouch. Look, there's a bear catching a fish. And he's taking it into a cave. <laughs> oh, bears live in caves because they need much bigger homes. Oh, and there you have it. Those are some animal homes. Barney, if our park had a cave, do you think a bear would move in? <laughs> it just might. I've got a fun idea how we can find out. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fun ideas. <laughs> You like our cave, Barney? We made it out of a tent and crumpled paper. Oh, I think it's stupendous. <laughs> but where, oh, where is the bear? I'm right here. <laughs> oh, 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 my. <laughs> the other day, I met a bear. A great big bear. Oh, way up there. The other day, I met a bear. Such fun, she said to me, why don't you run? A game of tag will be such fun. And so I ran, and so I ran away from there. Away from there. But right behind, but right behind me was that bear. He was that bear. And so I ran away from there. But right behind me was that bear. That's all there is. That's all there is. There is no more. There is no more. Unless I see. I barely recognized you. <laughs> hi, everybody. Oh, hi, oh, hi Mr. Boyd. Boyd. Say, did I see a bear wandering around here a little while ago? <laughs> that wasn't a bear. That was me. Oh. Is Sally the duck still enjoying her new home? Uh-huh. <laughs> She's waddling around right now, taking a look at everything. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, I found another animal home. Oh, that's great. Can we please see it? Well, of course. Let's uh, see. I saw it right over here, mm -hmm. and then I saw it over here. Over there, okay. And I think I saw it over here somewhere. Oh, 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 how many animal homes did you see? Well, just one, but it was moving. Oh, it was moving. <laughs> and there it is. Oh, 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 it's a turtle. Oh, and he carries his home right on his back. <laughs> the turtle has a hard shell. He can pull his legs and his head in anytime he wants to feel safe. Can we touch him? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Just to be safe, you shouldn't touch any animal who lives outdoors. Oh, that's a very important rule. Oh, remember the story about the little snapping turtle? Yeah, yeah I remember. <laughs> there was a little turtle, he lived in a box. He swam in a puddle, he climbed on the rocks. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> He snapped at a mosquito, he snapped at a flea, he snapped at a middle, and he snapped at me. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> he caught the mosquito, he caught the flea, he caught the middle, but he didn't catch me. Oh, you were too quick for him. <laughs> there was a little turtle, he lived in a box, he swam in a puddle, he climbed on the rocks. I've got some work to do, so uh, I'll see you later. Okay, bye, okay. Mr. bye Mr. Boyd. <laughs> oh, that turtle really gets around. Oh, yeah, it does. Remember when Mr. Boyd said he saw an animal home there mm -hmm. and there oh. and there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Though now that you mention it, there really is an animal home where you're pointing. There is. <laughs> oh, it's an anthill. 
And if you look closely, you may even see the ants. Look! There they are! <laughs> and they're all moving in a line. Uh -huh. The ants carry dirt out of their tunnels and carry in food to share. I wonder if ants like crawling in and out of tunnels. Yeah, I wonder too. Well, I think the best way to find out is to give it a try. <laughs> Whoa! <Look at> that. <laughs> All right, little ants. Attention! Ready, set, march! <laughs> the ants go marching one by one, hoorah, hoorah. The ants go marching two by two, hoorah, hoorah. Marching three by three. The little one stops to climb a tree. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching four by four. Hoorah, hoorah. The ants go marching five by five. Hoorah, hoorah. The ants go marching six by six. The little one stops to pick up sticks. They all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching seven by seven, hoorah, hoorah. The ants go marching eight by eight, hoorah, hoorah. The ants go marching nine by nine. The little one stops to check the time. Stops to say the end. No. <laughs> and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. <laughs> I think tunnels are just right for ants to live in, and they're fun for us too. <laughs> I, like, I like them. Oh, your birdhouse looks great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, and I think it's going to be just right for some lucky bird. Look, the paint is dry. Now Mr. Boy can hang it up when he gets back. <laughs> I hope a bird moves in right away. Yeah, oh, I'm sure it'll happen. After all, it's warm, cozy, and safe. A perfect home for a bird. What makes a home perfect for people? Well, there are lots of different kinds of homes. But I think what makes a home perfect is sharing it with friends and family you love. <laughs> I love you, you love me, we're a happy Bye-bye. <laughs>